But current global warming is unique in its speed and in its magnitude. Year after year, we can feel its effects on our daily lives. An unprecedented acceleration in climate change has been underway since the end of the 20th century. You wouldn't be able to see this. It's the wreck of a wartime boat that sank over 70 years ago in a river in Italy called Po. This piece of history is usually buried underwater, but these are not normal times. Italy's longest river is drying up. It's the worst drought in 70 years. So why is it happening? sweltering summer this year, with daytime temperatures reaching above 46 degrees Celsius in many areas. The heat breached all records in March, making the month the hottest ever since 1901. The soaring temperatures affected crops, especially wheat, that's sensitive to heat during the final stages when kernels mature and ripen. Prices of food items have risen steadily, causing immense hardships to ordinary people and farmers. And extreme weather patterns now threaten the food security of over 1.3 billion people. A brutal heat wave has hit Pakistan, with daily temperatures hitting more than 50 degrees Celsius. Pakistan has now turned out to be one of the hottest countries on the planet. The unprecedented heat storm has led to a severe water shortage. Today, millions of people are now staring at a major food crisis. As Pakistan's glaciers are melting at the fastest rate in human history, can something be done to reverse the tide of climate change? In Spain, a combination of extreme heat and dry conditions sparked the outbreak of forest fires across the country. Nestled in the arid heart of the country, the capital Madrid sweltered in the unseasonably brutal heat. But these searing summers are not limited to the sunny south of Europe. Countries in the north are also being forced to adapt. In Brandenburg, Germany, a lack of rain is posing a serious challenge for farmers. Soaring temperatures are aggravating the drought conditions that are rapidly spreading through Italy. Rivers and reservoirs are drying up and the forecast of higher temperatures will only make matters worse. Italy's northern lakes are already below or close to record lows. And the levels of natural reservoirs in central Italy are also plunging. Not just that, Italy's longest river, the Po, is also drying up. Other important rivers, like the Tibet River, has plunged to historic lows, while the flow rate of the Amien River has halved. According to research, human-induced climate change has made deadly heat waves much more likely. Global warming is making heat waves hotter, longer, and more common. And the toll of heat waves on human health is also expected to increase. It's burning in France, Spain, in Portugal, Italy, and in Greece. For a week, wildfires have raged across southern Europe. Several firefighters have died in the line of duty, and thousands of residents have had to flee their homes. But there's another related threat sweeping the region, a heat wave that has already claimed hundreds of lives. Temperatures have reached the mid-40s for a week in some parts of southern Europe. And weather experts say it's moving north to a place that's never before experienced heat like this. The United Kingdom. Fires rage either side of the Thames. The fuel, weeks of drought. The ignition, the hottest English day on record. The accelerant, strong southerly winds. The ingredients of a major incident 
which London officials declared this afternoon with a series of wildfires in Essex, Kent and Surrey. A grass fire in Wennington, driven by those winds towards nearby housing. It quickly engulfed sheds, then outbuildings and several homes. See the full scale of this from the aerial pictures. Um, there's lots of buildings completely engulfed in flames, many, uh, many homes uh, and residents of those homes um, that I've been speaking to today say that they left with, with almost none of their belongings. Some I've been speaking to today don't even know if they've got homes to go back to. Forecasters are predicting temperatures of 40 degrees in England, where few homes can cope with these conditions. These mothers have walked for hours to reach this health facility. They want to have their babies checked. Some of these babies are severely malnourished and their mothers who are breastfeeding them haven't been able to eat properly in weeks. Now they are being registered here at this health facility and they hope to receive nutrition supplements. It gives me great pain. My baby is two and a half years old and he's too weak to stand up. Health worker Gracie Lamo has seen a stream of undernourished children here in the past months. And there are many other children who remain without help out there. Due to distance, not all malnourished children come here. Because of the distance, we can't reach out to all of them. It really makes me feel bad. Nearly one in five young children are considered malnourished. Life in the arid region has always been hard, and it's the children who are suffering. The frequency and severity of droughts in this region is expected to get worse, a disaster for local pastoralists. Their livelihoods depend entirely on their animals. This camel herder tells us he's been looking for water for his camels for two days now, in vain. And these women often have to wait a whole day just to get water. And that's a day they cannot spend searching for food. That is when food is available at all. Selina Musa has hardly anything to feed her son. In Vienna, horse-drawn four-wheel carriages for hire are called fiacras. This work is clearly linked to animal suffering. The horses are sometimes in the sun at 34.5 degrees and working. They are exposed to noise, exhaust fumes, traffic and of course stress. In France, dairy farmers are worried about animal suffering because of the sweltering heat. Farmers are using giant fans to prevent cows from suffering too much heat stress. With temperatures exceeding 40 degrees, the animals in Europe are suffering.